Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, Libra. Welcome to your monthly uh, October 2020 Tarot and Oracle reading. Um, happy, happy birthday to you all. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. Please also remember to check your moon rising and Venus. Now, I have the... Uh, cards on the table here and I don't know why I want to keep stumbling it's like I'm getting a sense that some of you are not speaking either how you're feeling about something you're I feel like you're holding back on something here and so with the five of wands I feel like you're in a situation where you don't know what you want to do you don't know if you should take your chances with this relationship for example, uh, or if you should just let it go. There is some codependent energy here. So there are addictions, whether they are physical addictions or they are mental or emotional addictions, but they are affecting your life. And there are struggles with this. Now, um, it's interesting why something came into me about protecting self. Uh, this could be uh, anyone, ladies or gents. Um, but it, I feel like there's like maybe an interest in either learning martial arts or finding some way where you can protect yourself. I don't know if any of you have been involved in any domestic or uh, physical abuse, but that's what came in, a feeling that... You want to protect yourself. Now, there may be some arguments here and there, but I don't, um, I don't see a lot of it. I think that there, one way or another, you're either going to give up or you're going to continue to take a chance, but at least with peace. Um, I feel like you just come to some peaceful resolution about things. And so... Uh, instead of arguing over it or complaining about it or, you know, dealing with it in an aggressive way, you're going to change your course there and not deal with it in an aggressive way. You also need to listen to your heart. Your heart speaks the truth. Now, I know some of you might think that the heart leads you astray because you really love someone, but yet they are this and they are that. This is true, but I think what the first part of love in the heart, opening up the heart, is about you. You come first, because if you cannot love yourself, you can't truly love another. And when you love yourself, you want to be good to yourself. So if you've got toxic people in your life, you're not going to want to continue with them if you open up your heart with love and in love for you. Now, October, you know, it's your birthday month. I also feel like it should be, even though it's going to be a rocky outside force type of, of month, I think that you should find ways to relax uh, and rejuvenate. Take breaks when you need them. Don't overload your circuits. Okay, now, so you're either going to depart from somebody's life so what I want to get to next. Um, or you're going to stay. And I kind of just went through that. So that's going to be your choice. But if you do decide to leave, give yourself time to adjust. Because otherwise you're going to feel like, where am I going? Or maybe the plans that you had of where you thought you were going fall through. It's one day at a time, Libra. Now, there's been someone in, in your life. Now, remember, I'm reading for thousands and thousands of you. So, but I do feel like there's been somebody in your life that has really tried to trip you up. And I don't know why I said it like that, but the way it's coming through to me is I feel like they just set you up. Like, they don't want any damage or anything negative reflecting on themselves so they kind of set you up to where it falls on you 
blaming you, faulting you. You did it. No, you did it. No, you did it. But this person, I feel, is very kind of narcissistic, very controlling. And I do feel like they have some addiction issues, too. And remember, addiction is not just limited to drugs or alcohol. It could be sex. It could be just in a mental or emotional thing. Somebody who has PTSD or is bipolar, etc. You have to be careful with that. Also, too, I feel... Um, do not submit to the self-sabotage or the self-punishment. This is important. Please remember this reading. Do not submit to the self-punishment. Okay, because it takes two to tingle. Sometimes there's, sometimes there's more people involved. And... You know, we all have something to give. We all have something to take. So you'll have to figure that out in regards to what it is you just need to relax, take a break off yourself. Like stop self-judging yourself right now. You don't have to learn your lessons or heal the mistakes you feel like you made by punishing yourself. And then we have the three of wands. And, you know, that kind of, I've kind of already read that. I felt that off the devil card, which also can represent Capricorn, by the way. You've got fire signs in here, um, even cancer, but it may be irrelevant. I'm just saying that these signs are in here. But I already kind of read this off the devil card where you'll be coming to some type of practical uh wisdom or knowledge about your life, uh, the, the directions you want to walk, the directions you want to go in, uh, even if that means even a career change or a job change, uh, besides relationship change. <laughs> but um, I also sense that some of you might actually be wanting to start a new job or a, a business or maybe you want to try to expand your business but you've had a rough time with it because it, you know we've gone through all this COVID energies and um, I feel that in the month of October it would benefit you to not just accept an offer right away or decline it but perhaps negotiate it. Okay, and with the Ace of Cups, it's a great card. This is a card of fulfillment. This is a card also of fertility. If you're thinking about um, creating or expanding a family, and this is also a, a good Aces are always beginnings of things. So this with the Three of Wands, I like that. It's got a good vibe vibe to it. Just don't go overboard by letting your fantasies take over reality right now because we don't have a lot of energy to expand <clears throat> honestly we don't so don't go overboard in your daydreams your imagination or your fantasies because um i feel like you just need to be more practical more focused on balance you've got the eight of pentacles a great card for the ones who are seeking employment or the ones that have ideas of how to expand. And I do feel like this is a good month for you, Libra, and um, to, you know, ask for that promotion or see what's available within your company to promote. It's also, I feel like, uh, even though there may be some volatile outside force energies your life is what you make of it so make the best you can under the circumstances that we are all in the chariot i mean it, it's a great card to me i love the chariot because it represents a journey a voyage whether you're physically taking a trip or you're actually moving in spirit towards your dreams towards your goals 
Um, and remember I told you that this is not a month to rush with decisions. And it's not just about business. It's about love too. Uh, even family matters. Uh, because here we've got codependency and then we've got very soon. Very soon means you're going to make a decision on something. And if you decide to move forward with a, a partner, then that's fine. Because you've got to make the effort. And great love is always worth taking the steps. But remember to tune in to your intuition and follow those steps, not the steps that other people tell you to take. All right. And uh, I went through listening to your heart, uh, rest and relaxation, and also to take a chance on love. So I wish you again, Libra. A very happy birthday. Stay healthy. Be safe. Have an amazing rebirth. Thank you for listening. Much love and blessings.